Hello everyone, welcome to A plus BI. This channel is all about complex numbers and in this video we're going to be solving an infinite fractional rational equation with complex numbers. We have z plus z over z plus z over so on and so forth. This goes on forever and the expression is equal to i. Now when the result is a real number we always talk about convergence. You know we say that this value if there's a finite answer then we say that this fraction converges because this is an infinite fraction and we can't really evaluate something at infinity. We can take the limit or we can write this as a sequence and talk about the limit of the sequence, right? Uh, but we can't really say, hey, this is equal to that. We usually say it converges, right? So can something converge to I? Can it be imaginary? Good question, right? Something to think about, but anyways, we're going to go ahead and avoid all those complexities and just get to the solution of this problem. So, z is unknown, i is a constant. Notice that this expression contains itself infinitely many times, right? This is what I mean. Look at that. This part is the same as the original. Take a look at it. z plus z over z plus z. Obviously, you can write more inside, but it's the same thing. In other words, if the whole thing is equal to i, then this should also equal to i or converge to the same value, right? If there's a limit, of course. Now, how do we proceed with that? Well, since the whole bubble was replaced with i, that's an infinite expression, but I do know that it is equal to, it's given, right? I didn't make any assumptions. And then I get something like z plus z over i equals i. Before we get to the solution of this problem, Something that I do with almost every video, you probably know if you've seen my videos, that I use two tools very frequently, right? One of them is Desmos. What is the other one? Wolfram Alpha or WA, right? And so I put this into WA, hoping to get an answer. Guess what Wolfram Alpha said? You got it? Let's take a look. Uh-oh. Wolfram Alpha doesn't understand your query. Sorry, AI isn't smart enough. Okay. Anyways, at this point at least, right? <laughs> we know that it's not very smart at this point. But anyways, even though Wolfram Alpha doesn't understand this query, maybe there's another way to prompt it so that it understands it, but it just doesn't understand this. So, how do we solve it? Let's go ahead and take it from here. Human beings can understand this query, right? We've been understanding these queries for thousands of years, right? So, we're actually smarter in that sense. So now, this is equal to i, let's solve for z. How do you solve for z? Well, you can make a common denominator or you can just multiply both sides by i and that'll be good because i squared is negative 1. So distribute zi plus z equals negative 1. This is a linear equation. Let's go ahead and take out the z factor and then write this in standard form. 1 plus i equals negative 1. And then z from here is going to be negative 1 over 1 plus i. Division with complex numbers. How do we do that? We can't actually directly divide, especially an integer by a complex number. That would be super complex. But we can just kind of simplify this expression. Multiply by 1 minus i over 1 minus i. This is just going to be negated. Negative 1 plus i. And then this is going to be sum of two squares. Remember, when you multiply two conjugates, you get a real number, and that's actually 2. So z can be expressed as follows, or you can also write it as, if you want, if you're really picky about this, negative 1 half plus 1 half i. So the real part and the imaginary parts are visible. Okay? So we got the answer, but do you think that'll work if you plug it in? And you can definitely test it out. I kind of tested out a couple values. I didn't test it infinitely many times, so how can you be so sure, right? I mean, you have to do it infinitely many times. No one can do it. But if you just kind of test out z plus z over z... By the way, where are you going to stop, right? That's a good question. Like, is it going to be z plus z over... And then it just the same thing happens over and over. So you could probably stop here, right? Let's say stop at this point and evaluate this expression. Or you could even stop here, z plus z over z, right? And that's going to be z plus 1, actually. If you do z plus 1, I kind of get negative 1 half plus 1 half i plus 1 doesn't give me that 1 half plus 1 half i. 
So it doesn't give me I, so I probably need a little bit more I, I mean more Z, and so on and so forth. But anyways, we can kind of think about if we can plug it in and see if it verifies the original expression. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe. Take care and bye-bye.